welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bringing you an any given Saturday FCS game of the week between the Furman Paladins and the Sanford Bulldogs. Let's take a look at Furman in this ball game. Furman is a team that was very stout defensively last year, but this year they lose some key playmakers in my opinion. Guys like linebacker Kadarian Anderson, outstanding player, he's gone. Cornerback Ryan Steed, outstanding corner, All-American type corner, gone. But they do have eight starters returning on that defense, and that's going to prove to be a vital asset this season. I think they're still solid on that side of the football. Now you go over to the offensive side of the football, shaky offensive line. I don't think that's going to stop Jaredis Williams from producing a lot of yards on the ground. This guy had over 1,100 yards last year. Look for him to have that same type of production this year. And I love what they have on the flank, some wide receivers, but tight end Colin Anderson, very good player. Keep an eye on this young man. I think he's gonna have a huge season this year for the Paladins. Now you look at Sanford in this ball game. Quarter Memphis transfer quarterback Andy Summerlin gets to start. He's 6'4", 225. And if he can bring some stability to the quarterback position, Sanford will be all right so far uh, for the season. But I look at running back Fabian Trust. Over 850 yards last year on the ground. This guy's an outstanding running back. So now if they can get the passing game going along with the ground game, Sanford may look to make some noise in that Southland Conference, uh, some uh, Southern Conference, but the defensive pressure is key. I love the size in the secondary, but if they can't get pressure up front, that is going to be a problem for the Bulldogs defense. They got to find pressure. The secondary can hold their own. They can stop players from getting those big plays downfield, but the defensive line has to get pressure in order to be effective. Big game right here, week one. Rarely do you see conference matchups in the week one slate, but I like Furman in this ball game. I think the Paladins still have a very stout defense, although a shaky offensive line. The ground game is solid, solid receivers on the flanks. They're able to pass the football, not like Samford. So I think the Paladins win a very tough contested ball game in week one.